So Don Cossett has sent me his linear reader that he broke in a previous episode. He did a couple of videos on this, one showing mounted to the uh, to the lathe for the z-axis, and the other uh, disassembled and kind of showing some close-up shots of it. So I kind of told him to send it to me and see what I can do to fix it. So what we got is we got that linear reader head itself, and that slides inside the glass rail that has the the rod on the inside that it actually reads from. And you can see, if you look real close, it's kind of kind of wobbled up. So I'm going to reset, zoom in on you, and give you a better shot of what's actually going on with this thing and what we're going to have to do to, to see if we can get it fixed. Okay, so right off the bat, take a close look at this. See if I can zoom you in here a little bit. You can see that this whole portion right here slides inside the track on the reader itself. And it's got an anti-dust shield right in through here that this will open and close on that uh, on that track there and then it's got a piece of metal here and it's got these springs that actually tension it and this one right here is actually on the wrong side I'll put it back over where it belongs in a second but this whole piece right here is if I turn it up on its edge you can see as it slides down the track here this piece of metal is wobbled up and this side over here is kind of bent off to the side here See if we can turn that. But the whole thing should run straight up and down here. You can see just how badly it's bent up and broken. And it looks like this is pot metal, chrome plated pot metal, which is going to present kind of a challenge. But when the thing kind of uh, canted, broke, it actually pulled this ribbon cable here from these contacts and that's that's a pretty easy fix to be able to splice this back and then re-solder onto there now if we turn this thing up the way it's supposed to go and put it there now let me start over here this part right here keeps it inside the track on the back end and then there's an actual there's supposed to be a piece of metal right here on the front end to keep it aligned inside the track so it can't come in and out. This is the reader head that actually spans the glass and you can see the actual reader inside of there and the glass will slide along inside and then it's got roller bearings on the bottom and the top and over here same thing here and here that allow it to trek along the, grass, uh, the glass so it goes um, evenly. And if we flip it over here, you can see this spring right here puts tension on the reader head. And it's attached with a screw here, and it pushes it in one direction up against the roller bearing, so it's always the same distance. And this right here is kind of a shock absorber to allow it to, uh, to expand and contract and kind of rotate back and forth so it floats along the glass. This is actually put inside of here and attached with a very tiny set screw right there on the back side here. So trying to figure out how we're going to realign this, straighten it out, reattach it, whatever we got to do, and then replace the piece of metal on the front here so it can't pop out of the track again on that side. And then on this other side over here, Hit the camera there. You can see that the threads for this nut right here are actually snapped off inside of there. So we got to find a way to get that out and either remachine this and then reattach it to the shield, uh, the armor. Okay, so 
The biggest challenge that we've got, like I said, is trying to straighten out this pop metal and trying to get this thing lined up the way it's supposed to be. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pull out that broken piece of threading here for the, uh, the jam nut fitting, or for the armor cable I should say. Get all the wiring out. Take off these hex nuts, or hex uh, bolts here, cap screws and pull this whole metal piece off and see if we can strip this whole thing down just to its bare components and then uh, got nothing to lose and we'll try to straighten it which may end up snapping off and if it does we're going to have to fabricate a new piece and find a way to to reattach it onto that slide it's going to prove interesting but if you go to the website and then here's the part number here it's a Korean company and they have some pretty good documentation online but nothing about the inside of it but uh, as Don previously described is these two uh, aluminum blocks here are held on with these two screws I'll focus there there we go two screws there I'm gonna clean the whole thing we got a lot of gunk and metal chips and everything else on the inside and we got a little bit of a uh, pecker track there, I guess for lack of a better word, where it actually bent itself down and in. But the whole thing is still straight, so it should not affect how it slides. And come all the way down to the other end here. You see all the garbage and metal chips inside of it. The dust shield's in good shape. And it's got the block on the other end. So that'll come off too. We can get that all straightened out and then get the thing aligned and put back together the way it needs to be. So we'll get this thing stripped down and then uh, I'll be back with you. Okay, so we're going to start with the rail. I'm going to take off these uh, these little screws here. You just get these blocks off the end. See if we can get you a shot of uh, inside the rail. Take that one off. And if you look on the bottom here, you can see it's keyed. And that basically just pulls right off. You can see the silicone that's supposed to seal it. And then we'll scrape all that stuff off and put some new silicone onto it. So I'll go down to the other end over here. these screws out that block will fall off just like that now let's see if we can see down inside of there I'm going to reposition the camera real quick give you a better look Okay, so I think we got this down. So we got the reader here, or the glass scale, and you can see on this side is the dust shield. And we'll turn it up this way. See if we can see right down to the end, see if we can focus right here. There we go, there's your piece of glass. And you can see it's mounted inside of there uh, in silicone. Let's see if we can get it to focus all the way down the length of it. And you really can't see it, but there's actual little graduation lines onto it. So the whole thing reads very similar to a mouse does. And that's, that's pretty much all it is. It's just a piece of glass that's mounted inside there. And uh, I've already kind of... Uh, Side it all the way down it, and we can see no damage to the glass, so the whole thing just pulled straight away from it, which is good. So that looks like it's quite salvageable there. Okay, so we're going to start on the reader head now, getting it, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, get it torn down. 
So we've got the uh, the mounting block here that it mounts to the z-axis and we've got these cap screws over here on the other side. So I'm going to get those stripped off here and just for uh, for grins we're going to mark this where it goes. It should be visible when we put it back together again but I'm just going to go ahead and put these right there get it close to where it was. And this right here is a uh, two and a half millimeter so let's see if we can uh, get these broken free here. and the second one. So there's our mounting block. I set that aside and if we look at this we can see on the back side of this we actually have access for the back side to get to our, uh, our breakout from our regular black cable on this side to our ribbon cable and slides up to that hole on that side. The first thing we want to try to get this thing disassembled so we're gonna pull this thing out Let's see if I can zoom in here okay so see if we can uh, get this thing detached from this piece right here which is really putting this like this depressing that spring and our whole ball should pop out like that, leaving the spring in place. Put it back together again, we'll pull that set screw and then reattach. But you can see how it floats in that mount for that side. And the solder connections are good there. And then the actual area where it attaches to the uh, ribbon cable. And see all the connections that are broken off there. If you look real close, it's kind of a little bit of glare on it. But everything is in really good shape on this. And of course, we'll clean the reader head. You can see all the dust inside of there. So there's our electronics portion of it. And then we've got that spring. This just provides tension to hold it in one spot and that'll come off pretty easy like so. And this actually has a piece of plastic on it. I guess to for a little bit of support to it or let's see if we can pull this back plate off and look inside the actual reader head. One screw there. Screw comes off there. This whole plate should pop. And you can see we've got ourselves a little shim plate, sort of a rubber seal. And it's keyed, so we know it goes back together. And then we can see the actual electronics. It's got little potentiometers, a couple of IC chips, capacitors, diodes. And it looks like it's held in with one screw right there. But we can't actually pull that whole thing out. until we get this jam nut out so we got some some free tension to pull the cabling through. 
So that's what we have to work on next is getting that broken threading uh, on the fitting there. Right there. There it is. Get it pulled out. So that's what we'll work on next. All right. Should be an interesting project. It's going to take some uh, finagling to figure out how to fix fix that piece that's all boogered up and then add a piece of metal onto that end right there. There, you can see that a lot better. See where it snapped off. And I didn't find it inside the, uh, the glass um, aluminum housing. So I don't know where that piece ended up. It could be anywhere. But we'll figure it out. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.